sensitive guardian corpse for me. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why do you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Actually, that's exactly what I think. The world might seem black and white to you witches, but for us common folk, it's shades of grey. As is my family's story. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. Still seems like your fault to me. Will you let me finish? All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. Her things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me. Something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname. Makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit, hysteria, threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife, 
It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life and mine several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. And as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. Don't know why you're telling me all this. Your relationship with your wife? Your concern, not mine. Ah, a witcher. Should have expected as much. Very well, then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child. A child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare, sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Do what you will, but leave me out of this. You ask me, wading through the swamp to mess with the crones? Just plain stupid. What would you have me do? Sit on my ass and wait for her return. I'll send men, go with them myself, and we will pull her out. I've warned you. What you do, that's your business. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. Ah! It landed. <laughs> I thought we'd breathe our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're worth!
Damn it! I can't leave him like that. You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. I certainly hope not. It's brought me no small trouble. Meaning? I must flee. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The Wild Hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Well, where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanians' mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Who was the letter to? No one. It was like this one. Show that to those pricks at the crossing, and I'll let you pass. This for me? See no reason to make things harder for you? You seek your child, this letter will help. Where do you get these letters? Haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well... Banners and heraldry don't mean so much. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. 
I've no more tales of Siri to offer you, but go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as idle shit. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Funny story? How so? I went to Novigrad once, to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk there were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horsemen's blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Proper baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. Some hair of the hound. Got any vodka? Oh. Oh. He raised tribute for him. He does. Play oaks to him. Quite the work my man's got, eh? Not half bad. Master Not Witcher, there's an elven burial ground in the caverns near about mid cops. Their asses whipped like an Elvigrad whore. You surprised? That's right.
Lord. Why the devil are they witch hunters here to start with? They didn't ride from Novigrad to hang two blob tits, did they? I, I, I don't know, my lord. They say where they were headed. Geralt! Good, you've arrived. Can't draw any meaning from this rabble's boring. Perhaps they talk some sense after a few lashes. Well, spit it out. Where'd they go? T to the village in the swamp, my lord. Lass rode with them, asking after her mother, Constant. Lass? We must go there at once, Geralt. Agreed. I'll gather my men. Fall in with the swamp to cross and those cursed crowns to hunt down. Plowing swamp. Pox ridden air promotes brain rot in the peasants. Crowns, fuck me. What will these hay seeds think of next? The crones exist. You'll know that soon enough. Oh, right. More likely some mad old wenches making mincemeat of peasant minds. Likely Anna agreed to stay with them. Care for them out of the kindness of her heart. Good as gold, that one. Always. What is it, Grey Boy? friends with you. I have no fear, for the eternal fire protects me. <laughs> Won't need to protect you from me. Tamara, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father, I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come, tell her! Stop arguing. It's stupid. We need to find Anna. 
Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tamara, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father, and I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village! Baked and hot. Mother. Ah, clay. clay is a whistle. Fresh as a daisy. Go on. Whip me. I made it too little. I nibbled it, but just to see if it's firm. But it's fresh. So take pity. Oh, Mother. Take pity. Bladed. I begged. Mother, it's me. Do you recognize me? What, what's happened to her? I said I'd do it all. Give it here. I'll scrub it again. Scrub it clean. Mother! Something's coming. Get ready. That. Wolves? Perhaps. Didn't sound like wolves. Because it wasn't. Get ready. They come. They come. Shroud behind! <laughs> A fiend to me. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Enough! I'm taking her away. She's my wife. She'll return home with me. You're welcome to come with us if you wish. 
Don't touch her. We leave this cursed place now. She's sick. Weakened. Where would you take her in this state, Oxenfurt? It would mean her death. I know how to care for my mother. She's not a rag doll to be ripped from hand to hand. Let her decide. Bye. Bye for dinner. Mood bye. She's incapable of deciding anything just now. A dark spell, it must be. Help her, Witcher. I beg you. This is no dark spell, I'm afraid. Well, what is it then? She's been through a lot. Lost a child, was carried off by a fiend, lived in the Crone's village taking care of children who are now gone. It's left its mark, as it would on anyone. So it's hopeless. You can't help her. She's to be like this. I'm sorry. I know a hermit. A very wise man with a gift for healing. Met him some time past. Lives in the Blue Mountains. I shall take her there. Might be worth a shot. I shall go with you. That's impossible, sadly. Why? You have duties. Duties deriving from your commitment to the Church of the Eternal Fire. Once we finish our work in Velen, we return to Oxenfurt. You said you'd save my mother. And I kept my word. Your father can care for her now. He care? You know him. You know what he did to her. He swears to be a changed man. And in his eyes I see true sorrow. Remorse for his sins. He will care for her. And you've a new life and new duties. To the eternal fire. Fear not. All will be well. I will not touch drink. I will find the hermit. And once she is herself again, we will find you. Swear it. You have my word, child. Witchers were made to kill monsters. It doesn't matter who posted the notice. The coin has to be right, that's all. Witchers don't debate. Their conscience plays no part. They just get on with it, then pick up the coin pouch tossed at their feet and set off on their way. Folk don't expect witchers to save them from themselves. Thank you, Witcher. Despite all. May the eternal fire guide and protect you. Farewell. You were right, the father taker. I'm not so sure. You do nothing more. Nor could the witcher. If she can be helped. What are you looking at? Only a learned eternal flame will burn away our souls. Perhaps you're right. 